So I heard a story a long time ago um, that had to do with how a sword is made. Do any of you guys know how a sword is made? Well, let me break it down for you. Essentially, a blacksmith, a swordsmith, takes a steel rod and places it in what's called a forge, which is a fire that burns at almost a thousand degrees. And that metal rod just sits in that fire until it reaches nearly a thousand degrees, until that steel is almost plasma. And then you know what the swordsmith does after that? He pulls that steel out of the fire, places it on top of an anvil, grabs a sledgehammer type hammer, and starts hammering away at this steel. Hammering and banging and pounding this steel, condensing the metal, making it harder, banging out the impurities. And you know what he does after he's done banging on the metal? He places it in a bucket of ice cold water to cool off. And do you know what he does after that? He takes that steel rod and he places it back into the forge till it heats up to again, almost a thousand degrees until that metal is red hot. And then you know what he does? Pulls out that steel rod, places it on top of an anvil, grabs a hammer or a mallet and starts banging the shit out of it all over again. Banging out the impurities, hardening the metal, making it more dense, more durable, less breakable. You know what he does after that? Sticks it in a bucket of ice cold water to cool off. You know what he does after that? <laughs> you guessed it. Right back into the fire again. Heating it up to about a thousand degrees, pulling it out, banging the shit out of it, taking all the impurities out, condensing the metal, making it more durable, more strong. Sticks it back into that bucket of ice cold water, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. A simple, yet grueling and repetitive process. Now, why am I sharing this with you? Because I believe that we are all swords in the making and that from time to time, life puts us in the fire and heats us up until we almost can't take it anymore until our form is about to change. And then we get pulled out of the fire, thank God. But then all of a sudden this hammer, this mallet comes down on us and starts beating us just when we thought we were saved, here we go again. Another test, another trial of life. And then things cool down. We get put into this bucket of ice and everything seems like it's going great. Until we get shoved right back into that fire with another challenge. And that fire heats us up again. And just when we think we can't take it, we get pulled out. And we think we have a moment's rest but then we get beat down again. And then we get cooled off and it happens over and over and over again. So remember, when you think life is beating you down, it's not, it's just forming you, it's molding you, it's shaping you. And when the sword is done with its process, when this steel rod becomes a sword, after the steel steelsmith is done working on it, he sharpens it, he polishes it, and now you have this amazing piece of art that reflects light back to the viewer. It can be posted on your wall, but it can also be used to cause real harm and make a big mess. So as you're being formed into a sword, remember, this is just the process. At some point, it will end, and at some point, you will be this magnificent piece of art called a sword. And then it'll be your decision how you want to use that sword. Do you want to reflect light back from a state of beauty? Or do you want to be wielded erratically and cause a big mess? Ultimately, the choice is yours. Love you guys. Stay cool in that bucket of ice. <laughs>